We all have struggled with anxiety and fear and some of us have been to therapists or shrinks or any sort of group therapy. A lot of us have tried all sorts of different ways and methods and modalities to attempt to squash or remove that anxiety and fear that prevents us from really thinking and acting in such a way where we're not just overwhelmed by that that anxious feeling, that fire in our bellies that prevents us from doing the things that we really want to do. And there are some ways that have worked for me, and that's why I'm sharing with them these with y'all today, because they've worked for me and they've worked for a lot of people that come out to our sanctuary. So if you're in the local area, we're in East Texas, we're right on the Louisiana, Texas state line, 30 minutes from Shreveport, 20 so minutes from Marshall. So if you're in the local area, we gather every Sunday at 1.30. But these techniques that I have used, I'm gonna share with y'all briefly here. And if you want more information about them, feel free to email me and I can give you great details. And also they're gonna be explained in much greater detail in the coming months when we have uh, the release of our book. But in the meantime, I'll give you a little taste. If you can imagine just use that gift that we have of imagination it is an incredible gift and inside of that gift if you can think of whatever your main problem is like the biggest issue if you then first of all don't think uh, this is silly uh, if you have a preconceived notion that something is stupid or i'm not going to do that thing well then it's not going to work so if you find this silly to you or not helpful, but just go ahead and you know, go watch something else. But if you want to try something new, then you know try this, see if it works for you. If you can sit in a quiet place without being interrupted and close your eyes, picture that one problem, whether it is a heartbreak, um, some kind of financial disaster, or, uh, someone close to you passed away, when you close your eyes, imagine that that big problem, that big issue that's bothering you, as you close your eyes, that you have a full scope. It's a big sphere of just powerful light. And if it's a raging pain, make that light a powerful, fiery flame. And when you close your eyes, you see it, you feel it, it's palpable. Start to reduce that in size in your mind. Just gently and slowly start focusing, using the power of your imagination. Start to shrink that, that fiery globe into smaller and smaller and smaller. And then use your imagination to let it feel your gut, your chest, your heart, your energies and you see it getting smaller and you feel it and see it getting smaller right here until it becomes such a point that you're able to gently with your energies just push it away now, i know that seems very simplistic and there's a lot more to it than that but that's really the general gist and it works with some practice well it works for a lot of people it may or may not work for you but if you have a lot of anxiety, you know, what have you got to lose to give something else a shot to see if it may or may not help? It has helped me. So whenever you lay in bed at night and these things are whatever's bothering you, focus it as that huge ball. You see that big thing that's just, oh, how am I going to overcome this? How am I going to deal with this partner, this feeling? Just see that problem as you close your eyes and see it right in the center of who you are and watch it get smaller and smaller and feel it and just gently don't just force it small in a real quick way like be real easy with it just oh you're getting smaller and smaller and as you're breathing and taking deep breaths and you're focusing on it until it gets to a pin size and you just watch it go away it does have an immediate relief for a lot of people and you got to keep doing it because those problems, it doesn't mean the problem just went away or uh, all of a sudden all of your anxiety is gone. No, that's not it. But it, it does start to ease that 
pain. It's, it's almost like you're giving yourself, or you are giving yourself permission to allow it to go. And you have to give yourself that permission. Let, let it go. And as you do that, and you practice it over and over and over again, you begin to get really good at it. You know, sometimes you got to catch yourself like, oh God, you know, you're thinking or working on some issue and then, you know, you get overwhelmed and you go, all right, let me just sit. Let me focus. Let me, let me just try to shrink this problem so I can focus on the broader issues and then work on that particular problem. Instead of letting it overwhelm me, affect my mind, changing my attitudes and then affecting all the relationships around me. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is always project, uh, the good and positive inside of us. Uh, so that ripples out and it comes back to us. That is a wonderful thing. And it allows us to communicate better, which is our big mantra here is learn ourselves so we can be better and communicate to others effectively so we can better be in tune and communicate with the infinite intelligence and the divinity that is in us and all around us. So. If you enjoyed that, and if you got some value, you tried a little bit, may, give us a comment. I'd like to know uh, if, if that practice over some time uh, helps you. If it does, then fantastic. And leave your comments. We'd appreciate it. And like and subscribe. And if you're in the local area, come see us. You can go to our website, mysticsoftexas.com, mysticsoftexas.com.